Typically, the process of natural cycle IVF treatment involves, first of all, assessing the ovaries to make sure that we are able to reach the ovaries. That's the first step. The second step involves assessing the womb cavity. The importance of that is that in the end, once we've created the embryos, we want to make sure that the womb cavity does not have any lumps or bumps, which will prevent implantation of the embryo. So in the pre-treatment month, we would assess the ovaries, assess the womb cavity, and of course, assess the sperm quality. Once we've done the basic checks, with the next period, treatment can begin. Treatment with natural cycle involves monitoring the lady in her natural cycle, which means that we would do a baseline scan and then as the follicle is developing, we would carry on tracking the follicle. Once based on the size of the follicle and the hormonal checks, if we felt reasonably confident that the egg inside is likely to be mature, we would give the trigger medication. 36 hours after the trigger medication, the egg retrieval process is performed. Egg retrieval involves one being put to sleep and subsequently we would pass a needle through the vaginal wall into the ovary and collect the fluid within the ovary. Within the fluid should be the egg. So whilst the clinician is performing the egg retrieval procedure, the lab scientists are looking through the fluid to ensure that we have indeed collected the egg. Once the egg is collected, it is mixed with the partner's sperm, if the sperm quality is good, which is known as conventional IVF treatment, or we may have to physically inject the sperm into the egg, and that form of treatment is known as intracytoplasmic sperm injection or ICSI treatment. The next day we would look to see if the egg was fertilized. Once we have a fertilized egg, we would then carry on and monitor the embryo and typically two to three days after the treatment, the last step, which is the embryo transfer procedure is performed.